Hello guys and welcome to my Pokemon channel. So today is something quite interesting happened. You know within the UK they have the introduction of the McDonald's packs for the Pokemon cards which you can get from uh, Meal Toys. I actually managed to get a total of six of them. I will just show you them here. So I've actually separated them into two piles. I've got three as you can see here. These are different to the other three and I consider the other three to be a lot more special because something happened in the when I got my first order of McDonald's and I will be describing that a bit later maybe in another video but the gist of it is the order went through the food went cold because the individual had to do multiple orders and because he felt guilty he actually purchased me a second replica order the following day so I've essentially got six lots of McDonald's to eat don't worry guys I will specify I will be eating each and every bit of it. The thing is, I come from like a catering background anyway, so I know I, if I'm tired of chips, I can just shove those in the freezer. Same with some of the burgers as well. I've tried to have like a variety of things, so I've had maybe one McDonald's a day, so I don't get, you know, overly fat. I'm fat enough as this. And I just don't want to get any further than that. And yeah, I think the other three are incredibly special to me because of what the uh, guy did. I've never heard of any situation where someone would actively give you an additional McDonald's just because your one ended up being cold. The other thing I'd like to point out is um, I did not, and please don't take this the wrong way, I am not scalping. I initially only wanted the three that I have on camera that you can see here. And that would be it. That's all I wanted. I was not planning to get double in that, at, <laughs> within that McDonald's branch itself. They're very lucky and I'm very fortunate that it's, it's on the main high street. So it's very accessible. People can access and they probably got more product. I won't mention where it is because firstly, that gives you a general location where I am. Secondly, people will then start flooding that area thinking that, oh, because he's managed to get six that's it. That must be a new target zone that we can get. I am a massive fan of Randolph Pokemon. I really love his types of videos and I'm inspired pretty similar ages. I think I'm maybe one or two years older than him and I know that love and the thrill of having Pokemon. I have some of the original cards. Um, I never managed to get like a base set Charizard. My teacher actually did promise me one. He never actually delivered on that when I was in year three, I was eight years old. But yeah, it, it is what it is. It's unfortunate. Otherwise I could potentially have like almost a million pound card on my hands just from that. But eight year old me wouldn't have kept those in pristine condition regardless. So yeah, I, I will in a separate video be discussing what the altercation and the uh, issue that happened to that poor delivery driver. But thank you so much. It means the world to me and I will be opening these packs. I might get an additional three, not from that one. I might actually get it from, there's about three different branches of McDonald's in my area. So um, I might get it from one of the others, see if I get the you know, Pokemon cards or if they end up being like, spongebob toys or i think some people got like top trumps i know randolph got a bit of you know that and there were some issues with that as well so i'm really hoping that these are good i know you can get all the starters and i hope i get a nice variety of them so without further ado let's start opening them so as you can see i've just opening this first one I won't be taking out everything, you know, you've seen what they do. You get the, like, the Pokemon booster pack, and you get some other things as well. We're here just for the booster pack. Okay. So we have on camera, the first one is a Piplup. I love Piplup, you know, brilliant diamond, shining pearl coming out, very appropriate. I love the design of it and definitely one of my personal favorite cards. We have Chespin, grass type Pokemon from the Kalos region. Um, from the grass type Pokemon, I definitely don't favor it. It's just not one of the ones I really aspired to or wanted to collect. So it's a shame, but it's, it's a different Pokemon. And the third Pokemon, we're very lucky to get the Chimchar, another Pokemon in the line of the starters from Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl of Generation 4. 
and definitely something I'm excited about coming in the near future. And we're lucky with the final poll, which is the Totodile. I love Totodile. I actually started playing Pokemon from the original series, um, so I actually love some of the first ones. I think it's brilliant. I love this and definitely going to be keeping these well and truly, you know, preserved. I don't know what's going to happen with the 25th anniversary, but I'm hoping it's going to be a good one. And I'm definitely going to be looking at getting some of the brand new packs that have, um, that have been recently announced. So that was the first one. Let's move to the second. Like I said, I, I think the other packs are more precious to me just because what the guy did was something most drivers would not do. You know, if your food goes cold, they wouldn't really bother with it. You know, so it's just say tough luck. Unfortunately, I had to do multiple orders. You know, I need to survive that type of thing. And I can understand that. So here we go with the second opening. Pop that over there. Just pop that down there. The first Pokemon we have is the Turtwig. So we have all of the starter Pokemon from Generation 4. What absolute luck. I love Turtwig. I loved Generation 4 anyway, so all of the starter Pokemon I definitely really enjoyed. And again, it's a new Pokemon. It's a different one. No repeats here. That's something I... <laughs> I'm shocked at. Next Pokemon we have is Froki. I wasn't a massive fan of Froki. I did. I love Greninja. I mean, who didn't love Greninja for its power, its strength, its speed, um, the protein ability to be able to um, change the type and to boost its um, attack. Um, same type attack bonus makes it an amazing Pokemon. But its first form. Definitely quite forgettable for me. Sorry, if you feel otherwise. The next Pokemon is Sobble. The last uh, region that we've got is uh, the Gala region, and this is the starter Pokemon, water starter for that. Um, I didn't like this one, I've got to say. Um, I did like Inteleon as its final form, but definitely not a favourite for me. Again, I've been so lucky. I've got no repeats so far, and this is just pack two. And we have as our final Pokemon, which is the shiny, the hollow, Snivy, Generation 5 Unova region, the grass starter. I love Snivy. Actually, I love the anime version. You know, it was very sassy. It had a bit of an attitude to it, but it was incredibly loyal for what it could do. And definitely something I, I'm glad I, I picked up. Now, as for pack three, let's just open that up. So as you can see on camera, just open this one up. Side. So put that one there. First Pokemon we have is another new one, Pikachu. I've heard that the Hollow Pikachu is the most sought out of, so it's unfortunate I didn't get it in this pack. Maybe in one of the other three I might get it, but yeah, definitely a signature card that I, I love. I love Pikachu being first generation. And it's also another new card. The next card, Fennekin. This is another Pokemon that came out of the um, Kalos region, so that's generation six, and it's the Firestarter. Out of the three, um, well, I've actually got the three. I've got Chespin, I've got Froakie, and now I've got Fennekin, so I actually got all three. Very happy with that, and I will do a brief overview at the end as well. So definitely nice to see that, even though it's not my favourite. Torchic, the fire starter, another fire starter. We've got our first Pokemon from the Hoenn region. I love the design of, uh, of Blaziken, and definitely a fan favourite of mine. Uh, I, I loved Hoenn uh, as a child as well. I think I must have been or oh, probably about GCSE age, about 13, 14. And the final Pokemon is the Johto 
starter fire type Cyndaquil. I love Typhlosion, love the Jota region. I'm so glad. <laughs> Again, a unique card. I've got all of these cards have been so lucky that they've all been unique. I, I, I can't hope for the same in the other packs, but I'm so excited to crack those open as well. So I'm going to keep actually these separate because the other three I consider to be actually a lot more precious. Sorry for anyone who feels a little insulted by that. So, pack four. That's the side. And we have our first repeat Piplup. Nothing I'm complaining about. I love the design of this card. Very happy to have another version. Next card we have is Tepig. This is the first of this Pokemon that we received. Again, it's one of the universe starters. It's the fire type that evolves all the way up to Embor. And even though it wasn't my favorite fire type, it's definitely got, you know, it's special in its own way. We've got another repeat in the form of Chimchar. Again, I love the design. I think it looks incredibly amazing. And there isn't too much to say about it. And the final card, our shiny, is Score Bunny. The first one we've had of the Callus. Well, this is the fire type Callus starter. Uh, no, Gala starter, not Callus. Gala. And it being a hollow, I'm really happy with it. It's a unique card. Again, very happy. So it seems to be that the other secondary pulls are, um, well, we've had a couple of repeats. Nothing to complain about. You know, it, it's going to happen. You, you get random selections of these cards. Uh, but we're happy with how things are going. If you guys want me to do actually more pack openings, I will be looking at doing that. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, I am still kind of finalizing my degree slightly so i am still a bit wary of doing that and i need to kind of concentrate on the last couple of weeks but after that i will be making some more videos you can look forward to it again i'll put this to the back so the first card we got froki so this i think is our second version it's fine uh, again as a repeat you're going to get those um happy with it Squirtle. As someone who started with Generation 1, I love that I've got a Squirtle now. I'm just really happy about that. Happy that I've got one of them at least. I, I'm still waiting on the Bulbasaur and I'm still waiting on the Charmander. Please, may one of them actually turn up. And our next Pokemon is Torchic. Again, it's, a re it's uh, something I've already got, but I'm more than happy with it. It's a lovely design. The final card is a Cyndaquil Hollow, which I've also already pulled within the other set, but, you know, it is what it is, and I'm very happy with it. And, of course, we've got the final pack. Please may I get some good pack luck with this one. Please. If anything, I'm hoping for something... Bulbasaur or Charmander, or maybe both. The side, put that to the back. And so we have a Bulbasaur. What did I say, guys? I wanted that Bulbasaur, I wanted that Charmander. I've got one of them, and I'm very happy with it. Next card we have is a Cyndaquil non-holo this time. Bit of a shame. I would have liked a, another um, a different Pokemon, but, you know, it is what it is. Still happy with it. All right. We have Totodile. I think this is the third version I've actually got of this card. It's fine. It is what it is. And the final Pokemon we have is the Froakie. So I'm actually going to want to see how many of 
different types of Pokemon I got. And I'm actually going to review those quickly with you guys as well. Okay guys, so I've had a quick review of the different Pokemon that I got. And I did actually get a few repeats that weren't just doubles, they were actually triples of. So I don't know whether this is just a variation in my area or whether that can actually expand to across the area. Uh, just for your preference and just for giving you a small insight into the ratios that I received. So the highest ones came from having the Froki. I got three Froki, as you can see here, one, two, three. Uh, one hollow and two non hollows. I also got, uh, let me see. I received three Cyndaquil, two hollows and one non hollow this time for this one as well. So there seems to be quite a few repeats in here. Uh, the next one that I had, let me see. I have two Torchics, both non hollow. There we go. I have two Piplops non hollow. Uh, I have two Totodile, one hollow, one non hollow. Two Chimchar, which are both non hollow. And everything else I basically got a one of, so I'll just quickly review those. Um, so I have the Bulbasaur, which is non hollow, the Score Bunny, which is hollow, the Pikachu, which is non hollow. The Sobble, which is non hollow. The Fennekin, which is non hollow. The Squirtle, which is non hollow. A Tepig, non hollow. A Hollow Snivy. A Chespin, non hollow. And the Turtwig, non hollow. So I've just been reviewing the Pokemon that I've got in terms of the different regions. I have basically everything from the Sinnoh region. Um, so that's Turtwig, Chimchar and Piplup. I have from the Johto region, I have Totodile and Cyndaquil. I am missing Chikorita. Uh, from the Kanto region, I have one copy of the Squirtle and the Bulbasaur. I am missing the Charmander. From the Kalos region, I am missing the uh, Grookey, which is the grass type. I've got Score Bunny and I've got Sobble. Um, from the Unifer region, I've got Snivy and I've got Tepig. So I am missing. I'm miss, missing the Oshawa. That that's that's what I'm missing from there. Uh, sorry, I forgot that one. Um, from the uh, what region am I missing? I'm Hoenn region. I've only got the Torchic, so I am missing the Mudkip, and I am missing the Trico as well. So generally speaking, I seem to have a bit of each collection. I, I mean, I've got a complete set of the Sinnoh region. I've got the Kalos region. I'm just kind of missing mostly from the Hoenn region, which is a bit of a shame. But we'll see if we can get anything more in maybe one or two more orders. I'm not going to go extreme. Like I said, I really hate wasting food and I never waste food. It's going all into the freezer and it will be used. And I'm not going to go too extreme, but I might do a duplicate order of all of this from maybe two different McDonald's in the area. See what's happening. Uh, again, these aren't going for sale. I'll be keeping them. I am not scalping. Um, if anyone is interested uh, in these cards, I mean, at the moment, I'm not going to sell them anyway, but definitely see if you can get a, a few of them if they're still around. I would strongly advise you keeping them. I think I've been very lucky with what I've pulled. Um, obviously, you're going to get duplicates, six sets of these. Yeah, three. Uh, it's annoying that I got three on the Cyndaquil and I got three on the Froakie. 
Uh, I would have liked to have got a Charmander, especially just because it's Generation 1, no, no more than that. And it would have been nice to have got... I, I really love Mudkip. Um, for one of the Pokemon, I really would have liked to have gotten the Mudkip. Uh, but stay tuned. Hopefully I will be going out to get some more. Nothing in the immediate time. Um, I'm not sure when this promotion goes, so I might be back with a new video in about a week's time. Um, all things going to plan. Hopefully I will have some news about um, maybe a job going into the future. Uh, wish me some luck. And I hope whatever you do, you have a good day. You enjoy yourself. Remember, Pokemon is a trading card game. It's not worth fighting over. I've seen the issues that they've got in America. Luckily to say, I've never seen this happen in the UK. I think people are being quite civil about this. I know there's still quite a strong online market and that's fueling the demand. We've also got the coronavirus and we've got the issues surrounding Brexit and things coming in and out of ports, um, which is just a massive headache in and of itself. But if people learn to just relax and enjoy the hobby, I'm hoping, you know, the future for Pokemon is going to last another 25, if not more years than that. And I, I will be playing some Pokemon gameplay as well. Don't think that this is just a Yu-Gi-Oh channel. I love a bit of all of these types of anime stuff. And I just enjoy the journey with you guys. Um, I hope you do too. I know I've gone on for however long and... This video will be cut, don't worry. It, it will have gone from like a 30 minute video all the way down to maybe a 20 minute video. Depends on how I feel. But un until next time, um, I'll see you later.